so we will start from here while loop here we are using fget function fget function to fetch line by line from input file here buffer is nothing but um, character type array in which we will store that line and its size is 80 and this sp1 is nothing but file pointer for input file and we are initializing tokens with uh, nothing we can say actually why we are taking four num uh, number of tokens actually maximum number of tokens in one line will be four not more than four it can be one it can be two it can be three at max it can be four now what is token count this is a scanner function will scan one line from input file and it will store in buffer no i am going wrong sorry what this is a scanner function does it will scan buffer and it will retrieve um, single signal tokens and it will store in token 1 token 2 token 3 token 4 means if it is like um, move r a comma b then it will fetch move r and it will store that in token 1 then it will store a comma in token 2 and it will store b in token 3 likewise now this SS, SS scanner function will return 3 why in this case there are only 3 tokens so it will return 3 so token count will be 3 in this case so according to number of tokens it will return token count so accordingly we will execute switch case so if token count will be 1 then what can be possibility of tokens what can be so it can be start it can be stop it can be lt or the end or it can be end so what it start start is nothing but assembly directive stop is nothing but imperative statement and lt or is nothing but uh, again assembly directive and end is also assembly directive so stop is only imperative statement so we will first search whether it is stop or not so we will search through imperative statement search function and we will pass token 1 so if i is equal to equal to 0 means uh, we have been seen that imperative uh, that stop is positioned at 0th location so if i is equal to equal to 0 means we got the stop in imperative statement uh, array so what we will do we will write that in, we will write that in sp2 pointer using sp2 pointer in output file that its imperative statement and percent 0 to d for two digits representation nothing else so we will write that corresponding location so what will be there in output file in output file it will go like this and break if it is not stop then its possibility possibility is it can be start at d or g or in so we will search for assembly directive so we will use assembly directive search here and we will pass token 1 so start uh, i think we have been seen start is positioned at 0 position in assembly directive table so if we will get start then it will return that position means 0 if so if i is equal to equal to 0 means we got a start so we will uh, 
write that in output file like ad comma 0 0 and what we will do for location counter actually um, we are not writing location counter see for a start we don't have to write location counter for start so we are just initializing it minus one so next time when we will execute next instruction so we will increment it so next uh, next statement will be at zeroth position so if it is not start so it can be ltorg or it can be end so we have been searching in assembly directory table so if i is equal to equal to 1 means we got end that token 1 is end or if we got we got i is equal to equal to 4 means token is ltorg so we will write that in output file like assembly directivity and its position it can be 0 1 or it can be 0 4 for end it, it will be 0 1 and for LTOG it will be 0 4 now the thing is why I am writing this this line so now pool table and literal table comes in picture what here we are doing here when we got LTURG or end so then what is meaning of LTURG or end LTURG or end means when we got LTURG or end it means that we have to we have to store address for each literals after we are getting LTORG so through this for loop we are nothing we are going to do assign address for that symbol mm, sorry for literals so we will start from pool table pool count actually what is pool table I will explain over here actually I will go through an example in that example I will show what is pool table see here if um, first we will see what is literal table in this literal table what we are stored We stores literal and its corresponding address it can be anything similarly for another literal like it it can be anything so when we will get LTORG so what we have to do we have to assign address for literal so what will be literal count in this case literal count will be 2 right 